Welcome back to Chalk Talk with Jerry Hanlon and Coach Hanlon. We're back for another week. Michigan's getting all kinds of uh, pressure up the middle, blitzers, all of that. And you know, as uh, from all those years of, of uh, battling defenses, that, that one of the most effective ways that you can combat that is with the screen game. And that's what, kind of what we want to talk about today. Well, we'll talk about it. What I coach... I said, we didn't want to run a screen because we didn't want to say that we couldn't block them. We were <laughs> going to block them and make sure they kept off the quarterback. But there are times when a screen pass can be very effective. And if you're getting a lot of pressure, and particularly pressure up the middle, there are screens that can work for you. And you've got to be ready to, hand, uh, uh, to handle the situations. And uh, there's a little nuances involved in several different kinds of screens. So, Well, you're going to take us uh, through some of those. and uh, Yeah, well, let's right talk a little it. bit about first of all is the uh, a bubble screen you hear that quite often it's really a screen where you throw it to wide receivers and then let them be able to to bubble back underneath and and uh, get yardage and so the idea of it is if they're pressuring you and you have a, like a one-on-one -on -one situation out here now what you do is you drop back and quickly it's a quick more of a quick screen you throw the ball out the inside receiver goes down and blocks the man and he steps back and the quarterback then throws the ball. These guys set and set and then they release down and try to create a big seam throw so to keep him off, block him, and you've got an awful big hole to run the bubble screen. And so that's one of the wood, particularly against man-to-man -man coverage. The only problem is when this man runs there and he's man-to-man, -man, it sometimes brings him right up into the passing lane. So they have to work on that. But if they don't cover that, this can be a very effective type of screen. The other thing is the throwback screen, which we have been very effective with. When Devin will be running a fake here and roll this way, and when you roll that way, the defense goes that way. And so when you throw that, you release these two guys off taking them completely out. You expect the linebackers to flow because of this. Then your tailback slides out and becomes a factor here, and you throw the ball back. Now they again set, set, and then they become your lead blockers. That's called the throwback screen. Very effective for us. We covered it last week. Uh, and uh, they, they didn't know they had the guy open and he happened to be looking back and he threw it back in one of the opening plays and uh, it was a very lucky play for them. But a throwback screen has been very effective for us. A uh, flanker screen is if you get a big guy like Funches who can catch the ball and run with it, it's a good idea to get the ball to him and then try to get help out to him in a hurry. So what did you do is that if you do a fake to this side and then Take this man and just hit and then slide out and he becomes your lead blocker and then you throw the ball out to a flanker, goes down, comes back, hits him right there. Now, again, set, set, and then become lead blockers and if you get that guy blocked, then you got a good chance of making play. That's the flanker screen. It's similar to a bubble screen, but you're actually coming from the inside out with alignment to get out there. So it, the, all these things look really easy on the board, but the timing is so important because if you leave too soon, the, the reason they get stopped is, is you set and you go too soon, the linebackers say, uh-oh, and they see you run out there and now they go, you draw, they saw a yelling screen, screen, and they all get out into the area. So the timing factor is very important. The other was, as we used to use a lot, was if you're running a lot of pocket passing and your back's up there trying to block and you're setting straight back, you run all the defenders off, you hope that your linebackers are in zone coverage and when they do that, now you can let these guys, you set, you set, you set and let them penetrate and then you just drop back and then the ball's thrown right in this area here, then all your inside guys become lead blockers going downfield and you hit the ball over the middle and break it that way. That's the old-fashioned middle screen which is still one of the most effective screens there are in football but the timing factor is extremely important and you've got to make sure that you sell the idea it's a pass 
and then release and go down on your screen. And I know you mentioned to me that Michigan's been getting so much traffic in the middle with the defense that something like that is difficult to run at this point. Yes, it is, because you're getting so many guys in that area, and the linebackers in a lot of situations, they will rush, but they rush with the idea they have to take a man. So if this man comes there, that linebacker, let's say that he has him man to man, he'll come up and he will stay with him. In other words, he's going to rush, and if he stays in, he'll continue to rush, but he's going to make sure that he doesn't sneak out because he's got him man to man. So they play that, it's called a spy technique, and they'll have one man on your quarterback and another guy on your other back, and they'll spy them. So that if he decides to run, that linebacker's come, boom, then he's going to be there trying to stop him on the run. It's, it's a cat and mouse game, as you well know, and uh, you got to have a little luck, but screen games is important to your offense, but it has to be a timing thing, and you have to work on it a lot. Well, we'll see how much, if any, of that we see this weekend out in Evanston, but uh, we appreciate you bringing the average fan just up to speed a little bit on what happens during those situations. Well, you want to take care of the rush, throw a couple of screen passes. It'll help you.